when I before I went in the coma, he was Bruce. Then when I woke up out of oh, the coma, no, it man. was Caitlyn. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Word the mother. Yeah. This is real rap. Yeah. Hey, yo, what up, sure. Too Short? Yo, we got legends all day <laughs> today, man. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we talking basketball. Come on, yeah, come on, man. man. Yo, this is a, come on, man. Yo, yo, go open another another thing for this guy, man. This is some rare ass shit. Can't get more any more any more rare than this, man. Too short just came in here. Can we battle without the guns? Yeah, that yeah. shit is whack. We can battle, but if, if somebody gonna get hurt, it ain't worth it. Yeah, keep it at hip hop. Who we are going for? We well, gotta get Rizzy. He gotta get past Rick Ross first. <laughs> oh, Rizzy, uh -oh. hold okay. up. Rick uh, Ross is is going at Drake too. Everybody, yeah. Yeah. everybody's going at Drake. Future, yep. Future, Metro. Why yeah. they all going at? Because Drake, the, they, the weekend. They he fucked Rocky. I mean, when you're on top of the mountain, you know. You said it earlier. What? You just said it. Wow. He wow. fucked a lot of girls. Wow. Niggas was fucking arguing. A lot of jealousy. Yeah. Well, Drake had smoke for John well, Moran well, even. Right, you ain't seen yeah. the clip. John Morant is over that girl, oh, oh, right? Girl. See what I'm it's saying? all about yeah. women. See what I I'm feel saying? like a future all shit these stems from dudes, women. Though, it don't even make sense. Yeah. Who you got, Drake or Kendrick? Nope. I must have hung the beat, ho, depot, any rap nigga, he a free throw, man down, call like Amber Lambs, tell him free. Canadian or the, the guy from Compton? Pulitzer Prize winner is definitely spiraling. I got your. I'm gonna go with the guy from Compton, but that's just <laughs> the way dog. he, he rap nah. is what I'm looking for. But nah. Drake is an amazing dog. artist. The big difference between Tupac and Biggie and Jay Z and Nas, mm. you know the outcome. So yeah. you just gotta be careful, man. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't yeah, really I just don't know. Want, like, yeah, but Drake, that's a big. Like if you going at Drake, you you, you barking up a steep hill though. Bro. But Drake, Drake went at his wife. When who wife? He made a comment about his wife. But who? He Kendrick? Name dropped. Yeah, like, right? I heard I it. I think like he ain't really, but he could spit that shit too. That street shit too. Like he's good. And you know what's so crazy about Drake? Like <laughs> his disc records be hits. Yeah. Hits. Yeah, exactly. One of Chloe's one of Chloe's friends. Remember? Uh, you know Malika. Oh yeah. She, she was telling me like. Twin? She was like, "Mom, um, you gotta listen to this kid. His name is Drake." I said, "What? <laughs> you a rapper?" I said, "We from." She said, Toronto. You know what I mean? I'm from New York. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. He likes it? Nah. From Toronto? Then, you know, months and months and months go by. This nigga's the number one rapper in the world yeah. on everything he been on. He kills it. Yeah, but think, I just wish. Think back to when you first heard about Drake. Who told you? A female? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. Heard yeah. up. Yeah. So far gone was all for real. That's females. But yeah. I, I wish I wish they could like if it you know I wish it could stay hip hop. I think it's good for the sport. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the sport is really all about. Um, you know, claiming to be the best. And you know, he got saying you the best. And he brought Fifty Cent in it, so we'll take see it where it goes. With it. Yeah, Fifty. You know, look, he been in this. Come on, he tried to take a nigga head off. Yeah. <laughs> the fights that NBA players to go through, the inner beefs, the and you sometimes and it's it always over, out heavy. Probably mostly it's over. You know. Bitches. I, 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 oh I, my I, I seen it coming. <laughs> Crazy Yo, ass man. The Lord just fucking. Yo. You know what I mean? Shout out why this whole shit's going <laughs> yeah, down, man. Yeah. Crazy. And I'm the rapper niggas. They probably beefing over bitches too, cause everybody all in the Horse, same circle. Yeah. They all fucking the same girls what? and all that. So if a if a, if a NBA player fuck another NBA player's, NBA player's girlfriend, that's like what a flagrant three. I mean, <laughs> yeah. If you ain't talk to him about it, like you know, let him know where you stand with the girl. How'd y'all deal with that with the Lakers when y'all come into town and? And this bitch, women all around. Yeah. I, obviously, you know, I, I felt the test. I was married. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, you know, I was giving it up. But, you know, women is always around. Yeah. Professional sports, basketball players in general. But you got to tell the rookies, these are our bitches, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> and he like, nigga, yeah. you, see, you see my girl in row three? I mean, she, no, you know, nigga. Some niggas is, you know, tender dick. Like, nigga, she was in row three and last some, season, you know, too, nigga. Some of us on it like how he would be on it. For sure. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo. it, it's mind boggling. Like, yeah, you're, you're on the court and you see the homie that you took his chick, and yeah, I had some crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the wildest shit happened to me. I was, I was at a. Um, I shouldn't even be saying this because I kind of got a no, a, no names. I got away with it. You know what I'm saying? But um, this bitch I was fucking with on the road while I was married. 
Oh, yeah, it sounds like me. You know what I'm saying? Damn, they're having a whole basically like relationship on the road with this bitch. And this bitch shows up to the Clipper game court side. No. She was only allowed at away games and she showed up at a home game. Oh. Bitch. And sat court side, like just feet away from Chloe. Her tickets wasn't even coming. She bought her own tickets? I don't, I don't have. She had to. But yes. y'all know who who on the other team is messing with who chick. I'm sure it, it came out even when y'all was playing. Some guys be going. Yeah, I'll be trying other. to stay away from like that messy shit. Yeah. Like I said, some niggas is you know crazy yeah. about their women. Some niggas is passing them. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I don't, oh, you know what I'm saying all type of shit with that. But it's it's safe to say like the female like energy or aspect of it can fuck up a game. Yeah, is it true some niggas can't shoot if a certain I mean, in if, a, in yeah, if you, that shit what? fucked me up that game. I couldn't, <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't get shit off that game. I was totally feeling that game. My mindset was totally fucked up that game. But did your, did your away game chick, did she play a role or did, was she like Yeah, nah, she ain't, she ain't really, go, you know what I mean? She, she ain't, ain't talking yeah. to Chloe. Nah, nah. Well, her, it was just, that shit was too close. What you go for that game? What? What you go for that game? I don't even know if I scored that. <laughs> my stat line was There's your answer. Oh, Zach, answer. Huh? Well, like, how the fuck did y'all get together? You fucking weirdos, man. My stat you, line was all together. How the fuck did y'all get together? That's a weird, uh, yeah, what a yeah. weird lineup, man. You, yeah. Caitlin, LeBall, like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, man? a guy we crazy. know, Steve, had this crazy idea. He's like, yeah, I'm going to get you with Lamar Odom and Caitlin Jenner and call, keeping up with sports. I'm like, yo, you're smoking. Do you That's guys have up. stories of, like, do you bring up old Kardashian stories? Nah, 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 nah. nah. Nothing Kardashian. Nothing. It's, all, it's all sports. All sports. Yeah, yeah bro. sports. Bro, I mean, Caitlin got enough stories. For days. On her own. From, for years. Word. Like, she was draft. Bruce was drafted in the NBA. What? You know this? Word. Didn't know that one. In 1977. They picked him because, you know, at, at that time, they had, you know, a, a, a certain amount of rounds. Probably it was like 10 or 15 rounds in the NBA. Right. So, I think he said they picked him. And he asked, I think he got picked by the Sacramento Kings. He's like, why y'all pick me? Just because, you know, he was the best athlete available. Mm. He was the first dude on the Wheaties box. Exactly. You know what I mean? Mm. I he probably was out your box. crib on the on the on the on, on the refrigerator. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he got a lot of stories, man. Yeah. And I mean, you know, he was best athlete in the world, tran- transgender. Yeah, and the thing that's crazy, I saw him win the the gold. Like I saw it on TV when they put the gold over him. Word. So does, is that bugged out? Like you? Oh, yeah, because yeah, when good. I before I went in the coma, he was Bruce. Then when I woke up out of oh, the coma, no, it no. was <laughs> Caitlyn. <laughs> Word of the mother. Yo. This is real rap. <laughs> Yo. Yo, ULB sure was like, <laughs> <"What?"> <laughs> word up. <laughs> this is real. This is real spit. <laughs> I'm looking right at your feet, right? What's happening? <laughs> Yo. I'm only on the hook kid. I know, no, only on my shit, right? <laughs> only on my shit. My shit ain't raunchy like this one. <laughs> I don't, nah. even, I don't even go there. <laughs> but, uh, but so how, how, how is uh the relationship with you and Chloe now that I don't I don't you know we don't talk like you know a divorced couple. Got it. You feel me? Yeah. I, I see her living from afar. I wish the best for her mm-hmm. and her family. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, but I don't talk to her no more. Got it. I heard you say you missed her, so. Yeah, yeah, I was before the uh, cameras was on, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, now shit. you want to say Now you want to go like, damn, damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn, the boy on TV, sorry, now man. I'm blushing and <laughs> shit the worst way with TV. He's homeboy, right? Come on. Oh, oh, man, 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 nah, we good, nah, we good. My bad, Nah, we good. You know that's my brother, man, my bad. Shit that's meant to be, would be meant to be, bro. How do you feel about, like, the Jalen Green Drea relation was was that going on? Did you have an elder chick when you first came? Nah, in? I mean I'm applauding the young man for that. Really, I mean, you know, she you might well too. be pretty and bad and driven. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. She seems like a a woman that's driven out here. You know. So we talked. We had Amari on here, and we talked about like women are like Academy Award winning individuals. So you could be with somebody for like one year or three years, but they could hold out and map out and then they dead you. Like the end game is the 
get homies money. And basketball players seems to be, and football players too, they go through a lot of that shit. I think any man with money, anybody with money they, nowadays. So I, much, I, so much information is shit. So, like so, look somebody up, so, see what so they make. So basically we're fucked. There's no way to if get around that. If you got a plan, a woman, nah. We're fucked then. There's no way to get around that. I don't think so. How, how do you deal with it when you meet a chick? Like how are you navigating in this space? Now? I just be myself, man. Yeah. And hopefully too, I can see that the woman is being herself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, at this point in my life, I've been around enough people to kind of, you know, get a sense of who got good energy and who got, you know what I'm saying, bad energy, you know. It's some girls that I had sex with the first time I met them. And, you and they cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's some bitches that held out and <laughs> they'll eat like slime buckets. Yeah. yeah this you feel what I'm saying? It don't tell really. Her, tell her you ain't got Zell. You don't got PayPal or cash. <laughs> Word <out>. up. And <laughs> no IG. Venmo. Oh, IG. You don't carry cash. <laughs> like, your account handles all your money. You're like, you got to fuck me and my account. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. There's good people in this world and there's bad people in this world. So what what could we what could we expect to hear? What kind of conversations from you two? How do you guys mirror the two different sports that you guys played and like what what can we? Get? I think we kind of like mix it up with, um, you know, some of Caitlin's um, individual stories mm -hmm. when it comes to sports. Some things that I've been through. He's been involved with sports, mm -hmm. um, you know, and then like what comes natural. Like we did a, a, a interview with um, Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, oh, that's the homie right there. Yeah, yeah and yeah. Um, you know, during an interview, he was he was telling us that he was you know he got molested as a kid coming up. Like, mm. I ain't never know that shit. We That's ain't never, we ain't ask him, like, no. did any traumatizing shit ever happen to you? So I think our delivery people kind of like feel relaxed enough to be like open up, mm. yeah. and it kind of like becomes like a, a a therapy session. You know what I'm saying with sportsman and and with Zach. Um, you know, Zach, he gets to the podcast game. He got a, a podcast with, with Jada Kiss and shit like that. So wow. Top five that are alive. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, TMZ leaked the Sugar Ray Leonard thing. Like, two hours later, 50 posted it and was like, Diddy did it. <laughs> I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you got to chill. You from Queens. What do you, what do you feel about that? What you saying? It's my heartless. What <laughs> you talking about? <laughs> What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know short, why I'm not I, got I, got a big I got too short. I got shit. a big move coming up in the sporting world, and uh, I'm probably need 50 help. <laughs> I mean, I, like I'm but 50. for real, I'm gonna need that reach out. I mean, it, it, it's funny he he goes in heavy and he he don't give a fuck. But these stories been in the industry for years. They, I know it trickled to even the NBA and what uh, did he? Sport. Yeah, yeah. That's the, now, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I always, I've been looking forward to partying with Diddy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm a world of mother, like uh, no Diddy, real rap. <laughs> no Diddy. Look, look at two shorts. Two shorts, like could, what the I fuck did I, I come? I couldn't wait to hang out with him right, right. and just have a good time. I mean, the party's you know, like legendary. Like, like no, the yeah, party, like, so the parties are the parties. I don't think that the majority of us would ever even be able to say anything because you've been in the parties, right? Yeah. They, they ain't calling you into the room or the, the whatever. Nah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. No, it be a, like the party is over. They be ushering you out. I don't get. I don't get to stay to the yeah dude. three four a.m. Why you want to be there four nah, five a.m. for five a.m. You still at Diddy's house? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. What are you doing at Diddy's house at five? We've been to Diddy's house. Yeah, I went with him. I mean, his his parties in Long Island were legendary. Like the Hampton joints, the white parties. That's where it started from. And those were legendary. Like you couldn't even get in if you ain't got white, and it don't matter who you are. You could be Robert De Niro. I want to go to a party where ain't Nobody on the wall. Did, did yes. they ever charge like you for the that's crime? That's what all his parties, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Not yet. That's what they all about. No, not you. Oh, Has he been charged? Oh, I'm <laughs> yeah. scared. Like, what, what did I do? Did, did they ever charge Puff with a crime? No, they, there's no. Mm. I, mean, I thought it was going to come with like a, the, the federal indictment, too freaky or something. I mean, they was coming <laughs> for him like like they knew he had um, <laughs> weapons of mass destruction or Man. something like that. Like yeah. They was aggressive, too. You know when them boys come. I mean, they brought tanks in there. I never saw that. Like, I, I thought Diddy tanks was, is crazy. I thought, I thought, they had tanks. They had what? tanks. Bro, they were ready to ram that shit. If they didn't get it, they would have rammed that shit. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> and what did they take? What they take? The hard drives? What they take? Fucking they, tanks. They say they took computers, Ooh, but it's just, oh, they said the house was so big. The house is like so they had to come like that because you could hide. You got mad people there hidden with guns. Or, like they yeah. were thinking of the worst scenarios that you could think of. Like he's a mob. Yeah, or like he's like El Chapo oh, or some shit. I don't know, man. But I mean, it is puffy. Probably you got to tunnel to the yeah, the like, other car. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. 
That's crazy though. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. This is a wild world we oh, live look, in. Oh, look, they got the picture up there. Bruce this, Jenner. This is Kansas City right Kansas there, baby. Hey, That's tough. But I bet you all in police, if you'd invite them to one party, they'd have been there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you going to have Shaq on the show, man? I know y'all had. Are we supposed to go do Shaq yeah. podcast? Um, this month. Okay. Yeah. This month. I know y'all got some wild stories. Like, you going nah, over there. I ain't there. never really, you know. The battle of the big men. Pause. I ain't never really. Sp- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, I ain't no, never really no. spent too, too much. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> too much time with Shaq. Yeah. I want to ask him what it was like. Um, he even did a song with uh, with Biggie Smalls, bro. Yeah, he he has songs that he ain't releasing either. Uh, he had like two more joints, but uh, he's keeping it to himself. That's dope. He the best basketball rapper ever. Man, went platinum. Uh, I remember when Kobe used to send me freestyles on Hot Night Seven. I was like, uh, nah, I love like, I love Bean, but Bean he ain't really. <laughs> That's the only one, the only thing he couldn't really, he ain't really master, master that. Mm-hmm. It was, it's the flow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you, you used to uh, manage artists. Yeah, Ali Vegas. Yeah. Oh, wow. I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. He said he. I was, was trying to start a, a regular label around yeah. him and shit like that, but he was dope. He was dope. He said he was in an Illuminati party. He, you saw that? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't really know. You know, man, I, I no, wasn't there. I was there. <laughs> and and was there. was like drinking yogurt, yeah, yeah. pouring yeah. yogurt on each other. Yeah. And, and, yeah. I saw a skull. I, you know what yeah. I'm like, yo, I ain't seen no uh, shit like that. But a skull head. Like, I don't know. He was man. ill, though. Yeah, he was nice. What you think about rappers, Um, I mean, uh, basketball players rapping? That's a two-part question. I, guess. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised you don't see more of it, especially with this mm-hmm. generation that's coming up. I'm, you could, I would, you going to probably see be seeing a lot more of it. So your boy um, Kevin Durant spitting? What do you think yeah. about that? It was all right. Yeah. It was all right. I'm a good critic. He's a fan of the, the whole culture. So he Who ain't? Yeah. That, play in the, that play in the NBA. Right. That don't play in the NBA. But I find it weird, too. Like, we went crazy to get where we at. They got where they at. They sacrificed. And now they want to rap. Now they want to be rappers and smoke weed and getting gangster. Well, I mean, a lot that of a lot of them was, out to me. A lot of them was was doing that while they was in high school or while they was in college. Oh, okay. you feel what I'm saying? And then it's just like now I got money, so now I probably can make it happen. Definitely, with the right business deal. Hey man, I know I'm gonna write around the right. You're people. a rich nigga. Do what the fuck you want to do, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's that. all that. So you're not you're not you know mad. I mean? at, you're not mad at short. You're not mad at athletes for rapping. Not at all, man. I mm-hmm. feel like um. You know, if you can finance your dreams, finance them. Would you get on, Would you get on a song with an athlete? I would play basketball if they let me. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, if I got an NBA fact. contract, <laughs> sit me on the end of the bench and put me in never. <laughs> Who kid you leaking the athletes? That song? <laughs> Anytime. I, yeah, I, I leaked the Cameron Durant freestyle. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So I'm about to go in the booth today. Let's go, man. <laughs> <laughs> some shit, really? dude, you know? Pick like three ball players you hated and then just spit about just it. Just go at them. I'm sure you have I top three. Shaq's like the only one that really made it. hits. Like was making that was a rapper. Yeah. Only one a- that's a, a rapper. Either, no. Now AI could rap too. Mm-hmm. He had a rap album. I think the league didn't really let him put it out at the time. Mm. Lillard's nice because of oh him. yeah, I forgot. a lot of niggas could rap, but I'm yeah. saying who had records? Yeah, nah, Shaq was on TV. Shaq, 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 Shaq was yeah. in rotation. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Shaq, Shaq. Probably got five platinum albums. Word of Maybe yeah. six. He the only one yeah. that took it that serious. That's nice. He kept that momentum. And hip hop accepted it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you a rapper, you the Foo Snickers all day. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like he's like? Well, always... sometimes you gotta use your platform. Yeah, you know what I mean for whatever you want to use it for. Yeah. Is is he considered like underrated? Like Shaq, like he's done like amazing shit. He's been at the top on everything he does. But I feel like they still go towards the Kobe, the Jordan, Shaq. Do you feel like sometimes he? I mean, people love him and everything, but I feel like he. Yeah, they no, they don't never really give him his flowers. Yeah. Like being one of the. Best ever. Where would you rank them? Like top five, top, top bigs, definitely. Bigs. Mm. My one. Yeah. For me, that's the he the best big I ever seen play. Yeah. Most Shaq's dominant never ever. Seen Orlando, Orlando Shaq. Mm. You know Orlando I mean? Shaq. Come on, man. Yeah. God damn. LSU Shaq. Shit, LA Shaq. He got me into watching college basketball like yeah. that. Him and them yeah. UNLV teams. Mm. You know what I mean? But Orlando Shaq was. I think he averaged like, I submitted it today, today with 23 and 13. First rookie team, yeah. all that. It's rookie year. Yeah. We, see, first team NBA, I think he made. You see Lamar got his rings, right? Yeah, I was, yo, yeah, listen. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. in LA. I like to, I love to win when I'm home. That shit oh, hard right there. So, uh, so obviously we can ask you qualified questions because you clearly done something. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, um, give me your, your, rank your top three. 
your LeBron, your Kobe, your Jordan. Like, where do you rank? Because I think you well, I'm, I mean, everybody. Kobe was bugging one night. This nigga, he came, you know, he. Had, <laughs> um, Here we go. I love him. This, this nigga, we on a bus one night. This nigga just hit game win against Milwaukee. It was his ninth game win of that season. I don't know if I don't like it's a, it's some dudes that play in the NBA. They don't have five for a whole in, whole career. career. <laughs> oh shit! He hit nine in one season. So we on the back of the bus, and Derek Fisher, you know, what I'm saying right there, this nigga like, yeah, I'm better than Mike. <laughs> I was like, nigga, you wildin'. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm a, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna I'm me, Lamar Oda, I'm gonna go Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and then LeBron James. I mean Michael Jordan is mm. he's niggas woman, man. So, so LeBron is he running LeBron. I, I fuck with LeBron James. I call him God James. Yeah. I wanna make some t shirts, some God <laughs> James t shirts. I wanna see if anybody got that name, I'm about to buy it. But um Michael Jordan, man. He, sneakers dropped in 1988. They was $180. Shit, it's $400 now. <laughs> Original ones are 20 like, racks. Come on, man. But, like, but when you said that to Kobe, yeah, he wilding. What what was Kobe's response? Like, he was like, come on. He looking at me like I'm bugging. But he really thought that. Yeah. And that's why Michael Jordan is the best player ever, too. Like, if you, are, you know if you're a basketball player, you got to have the best fucking sneakers on your feet. Right. So I know in 1989 and mm. 91, he was the best nigga on the court. I know they was on the floor like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, this nigga's huge, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they intimidated in every which way. Yeah. They like, oh, shit. Them yeah. 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 Them shits make you faster. They make you faster. <laughs> I want to wear them shit. Don't forget the man. You feel me? Like, yeah. so I already, like, that's why he yeah. is the best basketball player. Wait, wait. Like, nobody's going to be able to ever accomplish that. Like, yeah. you got the whole sneaker game on lock, man. What You got a Jordan story? I'm sure you Oh. Can. Oh, no. That ain't crazy, though, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was in the, I was in the club my rookie year, and I was with um, my man, Maurice Taylor. He was, like, the best player on our team. Power right forward. Yeah. The Clippers. And Mike Tyson is in the club at the same oh, time. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> Feel me? So they you know that club is popping. Yeah. And Michael Jordan walked into our section where we at and shit. And they was they had like a a pool table. I remember it was another um, basketball player, short basketball player. His name was Michael Adams, mm. and they was playing pool. They was gambling. Like Michael Jordan had the fatigue pants. Like it was taking out knots. And I'm looking at this nigga. I'm like, I'm just stuck <laughs> looking at him. And I'm like, I'm talking to my man. I'm like, come on, yo. Yo, why I can't keep, why I can't stop looking at this nigga? <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> why I can't stop looking at him, yo? And Mo like, nah, yo, don't worry about it. Everybody like that the first time they get around him. I'm like, oh, all right. I just, I just thought it was me. I couldn't stop. It looked like he was glowing. Like, yeah. you ever seen the, um, for real? Like, yeah. He, he had like a aura around him. Like, what's, what's the movie? Remember when, um, in the, um, in the Chappelle jail. story, when they was comparing, like, when he was talking about, talking Rick about James? the last dragon. Yes. yes. The, the Leroy glove. Word. <laughs> Word yeah, the the Leroy glove. Facts. Yeah. Word Real life. And he was talking to him crazy, too. The one. Ooh. I played with the Clippers, but I just had more success. With the Lakers. With the Lakers. But people in LA know me here for both. It just depends on what team mm. they like. Yeah. Because when I came here, the Clippers wasn't shit. I, yeah. Like, I helped start that whole revamp mm. before the revamp started. Oh, wow. what, what's the crazy? It's the owner? Uh, Bomber? Sterling? Oh, yeah, he was, Sterling. Called, was Sterling. saying the nigga word. <laughs> yeah, you played. It. How, was your, played when? how was your relationship uh, with him? Because we hear so many different stories. Outside looking in. Outside looking in. He was, wild, in. Looking in. Baron was like, he, I hate him. He was weird. Yeah. Really? Um, yeah. But he was, sugar, room, he was a sugar daddy to some black girls. A hundred percent. It's not like he couldn't have been oh, too. To a whole, a whole lot of Asian girls. He couldn't have been too racist. 
Yeah. Yeah, but that's getting pussy. That ain't nothing. Like, you know, that don't mean he fuck with us. You know what I mean? He hates, he like the pussy, he hates the man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody will fuck. You said he used to come in the locker room and what? Like, just put his hands on, tell us how handsome we was and all this shit. Yeah. We the best looking team. Like, he was a weirdo. <laughs> 100% he was a weirdo. <laughs> Give me a slam dunk. <laughs> he was a weirdo. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Who was the most annoying side nigga like the fucking, uh, like, you know, like a Spike Lee? Who, who like those stars that be fucking fucking Nah, with nobody really. There was nobody that really like heckled y'all like a celebrity that was really annoying. I know Spike nah. Lee. The Clippers' new owner is kind of weird too. Bomber. Mama, he just into it. Yeah, he's a little too, really he's a little too enthusiastic. Yeah, you, don't see, you, well, you don't see too many like yeah, owners like he's too into but, it. you know. Mark Cuban, maybe. He loved his players. Mark Cuban was yeah. he was into it. He got Mark Cuban beat on enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you play you play under him too? How, how was that relationship? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't good. Yeah. Nah. It was, yeah. it was, it was, you know, it just didn't work out. It was just bad business. Yeah. Well, I met him at a, a real you know, bad time. My cousin just got killed. Mm. And then I just got traded from the Lakers, so I wasn't really fully, fully invested. Yeah. yeah. See, look. But it, even know about but it, but it. it was I'm glad you It was something that, that happened one day that made you be like, yo, I'm out. Oh. Can you, can you think? There we go. Yeah, he, made, he put his feet on me. Oh, no, shit. come on, man. <laughs> come on. I mean, he kicked me. He went like that to me. Like, I'm, like to try to get me to play better. So, yeah. During the game. Not during the game, but we was in the locker room. No feet, man. He was like, boom. <laughs> Yo, come on. And I was like, Vince Carter probably saved his life, right? Or probably saved my career. Oh, you would have How that. I'm looked at as an NBA. But, I mean, that's like, you can, that's mad disrespectful. That's yeah. like, uh, to, to no. get me to, to play better? I told you what I was going through, like, you know, before I got here. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That was wild. I think, I think that's probably the wildest, like, yeah. As far as like owner, yeah, reaction, relation, mm -hmm. you know, I played for the buses and you know. yeah. Who who choked the, out a, a coach? Was that the trail spree? The trail well, in, man. The, in the oh. bay. <laughs> PJ Carr missed. Carlos that was wild. Yeah. I guess I guess you guys sacrificed y'all shit to not go off. Like I'm sure. I those mean, levels go up. You know, in all due respect, though, I I wish, um, I wish I could have been there mentally and physically to to, to play in, in Dallas, you know, because you're not going to really play for an owner that loves his team as much. So the least you can do out is go and, you know, play with all your effort. Motherfuckers paying us, you know what I'm saying? But my head and, and, and in my head and my heart just wasn't attached to my game at the time. I couldn't really mm -hmm. perform worth for shit. How was it in Miami? Everybody talks about how crazy – um, what he culture is? Riley, yeah, the Riley era, and yeah, just living wild. in Miami in mm -hmm. that part. Well, I'm gonna keep it real with you. When I played for Pat Riley, um, it's a lot more strict. I played for the Clippers, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I played for Pat. First month of practice or working out. I thought my name was motherfucker. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, just, he turned me into like a, a pit bull. Like, yeah. you know, when I played for the Clippers, I weighed like 215, 220. I got to Miami, I got up to like 245, 250. <laughs> Quick. So he changed my, you know, my mentality on who I, how I thought basketball should be played. And um, he just made me like a beast, like. But how y'all <laughs> yeah. deal with that though? You got the strict coach on one end on the court, then y'all got the party life in Miami. Exactly. Oh, and most of your but book yeah, but comes you know, from yeah, Miami. But yeah, like, because if you, you know, if you, you know, a basketball player and you an invested in being a basketball player, that nightlife shit ain't going. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna do that probably on a Friday or a day yeah. where you ain't got practice the next day. Yeah. Because in Miami, you gonna be on time. Yeah. You feel me? Like I remember my, you know, playing for Miami. Um, you know, say practice at ten o'clock. You got to, you know, be there at nine o'clock. Nah, eight o'clock. I remember I got there like, but for most teams, if I come in at practice at ten o'clock and I come there at nine thirty, yeah. I'm on time. Yeah. Nah, not in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what? nah, you late. I remember getting a, a a written slip on my um on my on my on my locker, and you know, Stan Van Gundy was the coach at the time. 
Oh God! Yo, come talk to me after practice. New York guy. So I got to practice. I mean, after practice, I come talk to me like, "Yo, what's up?" They like, they like, "Yo, you live too far." <laughs> like, like, maybe you need a little, live a little closer. But they really strict on their shit, yeah. and that heat culture shit is real though. Yeah. Like when you buy in, like you buy in. It's like there's a couple of players in the NBA. Like the heat culture could like change their career. Yeah. Like Zion Williamson, if he went to Miami or something like that, he would never oh, worry man. about that. Um, that overweight shit. Yeah. Because they run your ass down there. Appreciate Mike it. got a fight coming up. I was about yeah, to Yeah, against my boy. What do you think? Hey, <laughs> that's his name, too. He's just fight right there. Why don't y'all fight? Y'all should fight right now, yo. Uh, yo. Oh, Uncle shit. Uncle Mike. That's his boy, too. I'm so We going? Hard, Hell yeah. When is it? Let's go. J- me, July, right? Back, me, and Kiss, whoever. Let July me, 20th in Dallas. Dallas. July 20th? Dallas. I need some money to go there. Money. <laughs> got a rich motherfucker. <laughs> we, we need a sponsor. Who's going to win? Uh, Jake. You think Knockout. Can... Now, this is a real fight. This is not um exhibition. No, it might be an exhibition. No, it is. But it, it, is it, it, it probably will be an exhibition. Yeah, because it's what a does league, that mean? It's a but it, it's up in the air. So it, exhibition it means it's versus... for nothing. No, it's... There ain't no no real professional ramifications. It's yeah. Just a... Yeah. That, what you mean? What's, what, what but there's no headgear. It'll probably be twelve ounce gloves. What professional know? ramifications could they? Well, you know, sanctioned. Mike is retired. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So they submitted to the commission, but it's probably not going to get approved because he's fifty eight. But you, you can't go in there with Mike Tyson and fuck around. You know what I'm saying? It's not like no, Jake I've can, can pitter pat and see, dance sure. around. He you got to take like his head off. He, he what? He you got to throw your best I've shit. I've seen him run a 40. He just ran a 40. I don't He's know. terrifying. Yeah. You can't tell me this guy's not 10 times scarier than everyone else Jake is fucking. I'm going to tell you what's 58. wrong with why uh, Jake better be because when Mike Tyson say he's scared, yeah, it's even worse. Look, look. It's even worse. Look at this shit. Suck him up. <laughs> Your power is the last thing to go. You know, George Foreman won the heavyweight championship at 48 years old. So He's 10 years old. Sh- short, who you got? We, yeah, never, heard, we really. never heard. I him. love Mike Tyson. I almost cried yeah. when um, he lost to Lennox Lewis. And I was with Mike uh, Tyson. That's a tough fight. At the Jay Z concert backstage. <laughs> Yo. Where the mother? Short, who you got? Uh, you know, I haven't had a lot of interactions with Jake Paul, but I know if Mike Tyson hugs you and says, I love you, it feel like he just beat your ass. <laughs> 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 so I could imagine if he was fighting you. I'm going to keep real with you. Ain't nobody black going to bet against Mike Tyson. That's yeah. just it. We're just, I'm a, and that's your, I know that's your man and all that. If you meet a black motherfucker that say, Jake Paul, he, they think Jake Paul going to win, then they ain't really for the culture. <laughs> <laughs> they fine. I feel like Mike should let the great, he should let the great beard grow. And for the be, fight, yeah. come on, whip, whip his ass as an old ass man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's one person that we can't shit. we can't see losing. Go New York, go New York, go. You know, I brought this question up. Uh, I don't know, I forgot who we had, but I was like, "Am I gonna be alive to see the Knicks finally win a championship? Like, like I'm 53. Will I die? Like, yeah. I'm not gonna see it. Am I? That was Matt Barnes. Yeah, yeah man, Matt Barnes. Boy, I asked Matt Barnes this. I was like, am I going to die? Because I, 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 I was there when I saw Ewing miss that shot. So I was like, oh, my oh, God. Oh, you was there? I was, nah, I, was, I saw it on oh, TV. Yeah. I saw, like, I we all it. seen it. <laughs> yeah, we all seen it, right? And I'm watching the ball going up. I see the ball hit. Boodoo. Boodoo. I think, I think it's going to take management changes. Because, like, I heard, I've never been in it. But I heard it's sweet over there. Like they been had their own plane and they get I mean, come on, could you imagine being in New York mix? Like in mm. New York? Yeah. Cracking. Like cracking. They made great changes. They though. get everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think it's just the management putting the right pieces together. You see Brunson is hooping. Yeah. They probably still need a big man that can score. Yeah. Uh what's yeah. name's hurt right now? That's Randall's the only out. Yeah, Randall's yeah. hurt. Yeah. But Brunson, hopefully he signs back next year. You know, he got an option. What's that look like? I don't know. You got to ask him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It depends on how much money they're going to give him, I guess. Yeah. And if he like being in New York. I know I would like being in New York with 300 M's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But, He's dead. You know what I'm saying? His dad's with the organization. Yeah. Coach. Yeah. yeah, coach. yeah, yeah. So but why, it just, just comes down to, to the team. <laughs> <laughs>